Okay, Nasha. Prepare to meet the Fleaminator. Are you sure this will work? Of course. Like the catalogue says, it's anti-flea science in a high-tech appliance. <laughs> Just a touch more power to pick up the stragglers. <laughs> Is that supposed to happen? Not according to the manual. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that dog will have to stay out of my lovely clean house until his fleas have gone. For good! Oh, don't worry, Nasha. Dad'll find a way. <laughs> All right, class. That's enough for today. But I was just warming up. Dennis, now before you go, I have an announcement to make regarding the school dance competition. Dance competition? Blech. This year, Athena's father, Mr. Uh, uh, Rat Bucket Kane, has kindly donated an award. Oh, Rat Bucket! All oh, hail the King of Rock bass players! And as well as helping me judge the contest, Athena will be presenting the prize to the winner. I will win. It's my destiny. Please tell me that's a joke. I can dance. Well, if you can dance, Pie Face, you must know these moves. And you've got to know this one. It's the latest thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I... Uh... <laughs> Him! Dance! I don't think so. <laughs> Dancing is about graceful movement, elegance and finesse. If Pie Face won, I'd... I'd eat my socks. <laughs> <laughs> A sock swallowing Walter. Now that I've got to see. <laughs> Well, you better bring your knife and fork to the dance then, cos Pie Face is going to win. And you know why? Do tell. Because he's got the best dance teachers on the planet. Oh, really? And who would they be? Me and Nasha. All right, Pie Face, we'd better go back to basics. Anything done. As long as I get to win, I mean, backstage passes for a rap bucket concert. Wow. Hey, if I'd known that was a prize, I'd have gone in for it myself. But meanwhile, we've got to make sure you win. Yeah. Well, I reckon I should do I know. The... Disco. I'll add Dennis and Nasha. Some heavy rock. <laughs> right, Pie Face. There's three dances you could do. What do you think? <laughs> oh, great. Now, what are we going to do? <laughs> Good idea, Nasha. We'll check out the opposition. Attention, dancers. At the sound of the music. Dance! Lift, right, lift, right. You there, keep it up. But, but these metal tip shoes are so heavy, sir. Never mind the shoes. What's our motto? The harder, the harder we, we work, work our feet, feet, the harder we'll be to beat. beat. Uh oh, the Colonel's got Walter and his pals dancing like a well drilled platoon. Pie Face is going to have his work cut out to beat them. This new flea magnetizer will do the trick, Nasha. All we have to do is give the fleas a puff of magno dust <laughs> and then turn on the magnetizer. <laughs> Victory! It's starting to work. Cool! Let's pump up the power. Uh, no, Dennis. <laughs> oh, too much power! <laughs> Maybe it's time to wake Pie Face for his next lesson. Dennis! <laughs> right, Pie Face. Which dance then? The dance I want to do. 
My granddad taught it me when I was a kid. Oh, OK. What is it, then? The dance of the seven pies. The what? Oh, I'll show you. Give me some music, Curly. <laughs> are fighting fit, Mrs. Creature. They'll beat anything the enemy can throw at them. Well, we'll find out very shortly, Colonel. The dance contest is about to begin. Now to give Pieface a little extra help. I'll just give Walter and his pals dancing shoes a blast of magno dust. <laughs> so they respond to Dad's magnetizer. And Pieface will be all set to win. Where have you been? I thought you'd gone home. What? I miss me star pupil picking up his prize. Don't worry, Pieface. You and me are going to be front row at the Rat Bucket gig. And now to our first contestants. Let's hear a big hand for... Walter, Bertie and Dudley. <laughs> Uh-oh. They look like they know what they're doing. Like I say, Pieface, don't worry about a thing. Shoulders back, keep a stiff upper lip, and dance. What's wrong with you chaps? Dance, dance, that's an order. We can't. Our feet are stuck. <laughs> Not for long. Two steps aren't part of our routine. Neither are these. <laughs> Dudley, that will certainly take some beating for originality. Oh, great. Right, Nasha. <laughs> this automatic flea-seeking comb will definitely do the trick. And as soon as we're done, you can go and see Dennis at the school dance contest. Right, lock and load. Those fleas are doomed. <laughs> Nasha, <laughs> Nasha, <laughs> come back. And now, for the final contestant tonight... It's Pie Face with the Dance of the Seven Pies! We're going to need a miracle to win now! <laughs> Nasha! <laughs> <laughs> You know 
what, Nasha? We deserve a rest after such a hard day's work. Avoiding homework. Time for homework handing. Any second now. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Flea-ridden hound! Shoo! Avoiding chores. Dennis! Dennis! Your turn to mow the lawn! <laughs> And beating Walter to the last ice cream. Ice cream! Ice cream! Only one left! <laughs> Jen, look what my dad got us. Tickets to the premiere of Flat of the Palm 5 at the cinema tomorrow night. Starring Crank Power Up. Ha! Ha! of all time. Yeah, and even better, he's going to be there to meet his fans. Cool. I can't wait to show him his special move. Crang! Oh! <gasps> What's this? A canned pie? No, Den. It's a can of giggles. Just arrived today at Mr Ha Ha's. Fantastic! Careful, Den. It's infectious. <laughs> of whooping wallop I've ever heard. I know how to get rid of that. Tomato juice, a splash of milk, spoonful of mustard topped with a squeeze of sour lemon. Cross fingers that the Colonel's recipe works, B. Your aunties are visiting later and I've got to clean up. OK. I'll see if Mr Ha-Ha's got any ideas. Seeing as it was his can of giggles that caused the problem. 
could always get some more pies. That's no replacement for having Dennis around. Uh, why so miserable, boys? Having fun just isn't any fun without Dennis. And he's struck down with hiccups. Hiccups? No, oh, there's only one way to cure them. With a sudden fright. <laughs> Mr Ha Ha. <gasps> Problem. <gasps> Can of giggles! <laughs> Hiccups! Oh dear! Did you open the can in a confined space? <laughs> There's your problem! <laughs> that's not hiccups, that's giggle ups! You need this special supplement. <laughs> the Can of Giggles Guide to Curing Giggle Ups. <laughs> Cure number one balancing a pencil on your nose. Hmm, surely that's too easy. Not when it's the ha ha mega jumbo pencil. Mr. Ha Ha's right. This is pretty tricky. So, we sneak up behind Dennis with this balloon and kaboom. <laughs> <laughs> what are you two up to? Oh, uh, what? nothing. What? Nothing. Cure number 23. Shout as loud as you possibly can. <gasps> oh, how would Crank Power Up do this? Crank! <gasps> For goodness sake, Dennis, go to the park where we can't hear you. All right, I will. I know and I'm not <clears throat> wanted. <gasps> Looks like they're going to the park. Come on, I know a shortcut. This should be good enough. He's coming. Ready? <gasps> Crank! Oh! <laughs> now what? Oh, 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 nothing. No, just having a laugh. <laughs> just messing about, you know. Guys, I'm trying to cure me hiccups, <gasps> and you're not helping. <gasps> <gasps> The camouflage. Wow, pie face. How did you do that? My sister taught me crochet when I was little. Cure number 79. <laughs> Quick, get ready to ambush. Hmm. Drinking water? There has to be more to it than that. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Result! <laughs> Curly, pie face, what are you playing at? <laughs> it was your grand's idea. She said a sudden fright would cure your hiccups. No good, guys. I'm fearless, remember? But these cures don't work either. They're useless. At this rate, I'll miss the movie and I'll never get to show Crank Power Up my special move! Dennis Wennessy! Our favourite little nephew! Oh. <laughs> 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 I knew what would give Dennis a real fright! Sloppy kisses from his loving aunties! <laughs> You were right, Gran. My hiccups have gone. I'm cured! Now I can go to the movie and meet Crank Power Up. Crank! Oh! Just like you did it in Crunch of Fists 3, Mr Power Up. What do you think? Very good, Dennis. Perhaps one day you will follow in my footsteps. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, I know just the thing. Hello, Auntie Beryl, could you and Auntie Brunella pop down to the cinema? I've got a bit of a problem here and I think you're the ones who can sort it out for me. Oh, I don't believe it, Nash! 
Sasha. The tickets for the wrestling tonight are way out of my allowance range. Oh, we're going to miss the Mr. Magnifico fight. Mr. Magnifico? Is that an animal, vegetable or mineral? Definitely animal. Oh, Mum, he's the best wrestler in the tag team universe. Pie Face and Curly are going. Could I have an advance on me allowance to get a ticket too? Please. <sighs> Dad? How much are these tickets? Uh, they're only... How much? But it's a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... The answer's no, Dennis. N-O spells no. Oh, come on, Nasha. It's not fair, Nasha. Everyone's going to see Mr Magnifico wrestle tonight. Including me. What? You? Yes. It's the perfect place to try out my new moves. <gasps> you? Have moves? First aid moves. I'm a bandage master. Ha! First class. <laughs> bandage. I knew you couldn't be a wrestling fan. Wrestling? <laughs> Certainly not. I shall be attending in my capacity of junior first aider. With your mum. <gasps> mum? Why didn't she say something? I've only just heard myself. These are the backstage passes from First Aid HQ. Brilliant! Looks like we're going nowhere! These are for First Aid badge holders only. But what? Where do I get a First Aid badge? You don't just get a badge, silly. You have to earn it by passing your First Aid test. Test? OK, I'll do it. I mean... How hard can it be? <laughs> Dennis volunteering to take a test? This I've got to see. So, down to business. When, where and who's the judge? That will be me. <laughs> you? Oh, come on, Nasha. We'd better get some practice in. <laughs> ah, there. That's our studying over. Let's go get that badge. Shall we begin? Dennis, one needs a basic knowledge of anatomy to pass this test. Can you point to the pelvic yeah. bone? There. The pelvis has left the building. <laughs> well done, Dennis. Thank you very much. Everyone's entitled to one lucky guess. OK. Where's the clavicle? The radius? The carpal? The metatarsals? The... Hey! Where's the skull? <laughs> I think that's enough academic testing for today, Walter. Let's move on to the practical tests. Did you learn all that at school? <laughs> no, Dad. Living with a bone magnet like Nasha, you can't help learn a lot about bones. <laughs> Let's see how good you are at dealing with a practical test. Bring it on! You stand in as the patient. Me? But I just... My... Oh, all right. OK, Dennis. Let's imagine the patient has sprained his ankle. What do you do? I know what to do, Mum. Lots of kids get sprained ankles in football practice. Especially when you're playing. OK, Dad. Time to elevate your foot. And... Apply a cold compress. Coming right up. Nasha! Ouch! Ouch! Frozen fish. Frozen sausages. <laughs> Rolls and chips. That should be enough now, Nasha. Let's go. <laughs> All done. Thanks to you, Nasha. Hey, where's Nasha? Where do you think? <laughs> Is suffering from heat stroke. 
What do you do to help? Uh, cool him down? Well done. Yes, but how exactly? Easy! Nasha, jumper! <laughs> Remove excess clothing. And douse with water to cool. That's <laughs> freezing! Job done! Uh, hmm. He appears to have fainted. Fainted? We must get the blood flowing back to his head. <laughs> I'm on it, Mum! Dennis, Walter's marking the test, not me. You mean I really failed? Unless you can prove to Walter that your bandage techniques are good enough. Yes. I'll be ready to go to the wrestling right after tea. Here's your pass. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Remember, practice makes perfect. <laughs> Come on, Nasha. We've got some serious practicing to do. Hey! What about me? Oh. <laughs> Coast clear, Nasha. <laughs> right, Nasha. Time for the first aid showdown. Right. Earplugs to drown out all the screaming and shouting. Extra safety pins, extra plasters, extra strong smelling salts. I understand the ringside can get a bit hot and bothered. <laughs> Phew! It's showdown time, Walter. Meet the fastest bandager in the West. <laughs> If I win, I get my badge. And if you lose, I won't. Huh. We'll see about that. Hmm. Not bad for a beginner. <laughs> <laughs> Beat that! I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> now that's what I call good bandage technique. I reckon I'd pass now, don't you, Walter? <laughs> all right, all right. You pass the test. You get your badge. Yahoo! Mr. Magnifico, here we come! <laughs> what about me? Eyes on the audience, not the entertainment, Dennis. Remember, we're here to watch the crowd, not the wrestling. No! No wonder they let us in for free. What a disaster! We've got ringside seats and I can't even watch my hero wrestle. Oh. Uh, sorry, kid. Uh, no problem, <laughs> Mr. Magnifico. Uh, payback time! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
and he's good. Ah! Oh, I'll say, what a team! Hi, <laughs> Walter. Look what you've done to our ball. Your ball? Look what you've done to our clothes. Yeah. Well, whatever, Walter. <laughs> How dare he? I'll whatever him. Hand me the bumper book of rules, Bertie. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh -huh. as I thought. Uh, Mr. Balls, there's an emergency at the football field. Oi! <laughs> hey, what's this all about? Oh, I was having my lunch. Dennis is blatantly breaking the rules about playing football in the park. You called me down here for that. But it clearly states that when playing soccer in Beano Town Park, Rule 67A, dogs may not play in goal. It's the rules. Rules? This is my park and I make the rules. But... Uh... That, that, this grass is for playing football. So if you're not playing, get off! Well said, Parky. Maybe your lot should play a bit more sport instead of poking your noses into other people's business. I don't know. Here we come round. Well, I never. Walter, play footy. <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not like you know anything about football. <laughs> I know plenty, actually. I could play if I wanted. Yeah, right. Of course you could. <laughs> uh, right. I will. In fact, my team will take on yours next Saturday, right here. OK, you're on. Right. And the rules are, uh, most runs wins. Goals is how it usually works, Walter. <laughs> uh, Walter, uh, we can't play football. I believe it's called soccer. And whatever it takes, we will win. First, we study the enemy. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh, some save, Nasha! OK, boys, let's take a break. So, what do you reckon, then? Walter's team will be a pushover, won't it? Should be, Curly. But you know Walter. He's always got some sneaky scheme up his sleeve. Well, I may not know much about soccer, but even I can see that Nasha's good. What have you found out? Well, apparently, it is goals, not runs. And the chap who scores most of them is called a striker. So I suppose we need one of them. Anyone for one of Butch Butcher's veggie sausage bites? Don't worry, Dudley. I'll find us a striker. And you've just given me an idea how to solve the Nasher problem, too. <laughs> uh... What are we doing, Walter? I found our striker, the school new boy, David Peckham. Oh, hi, David. Ready for the trial? Uh -huh. oh, that's good enough for us. See you next Saturday. Uh -huh. Right, we've strengthened our attack. Now to weaken their defence. <laughs> All right, boys. Practice makes perfect. When you're ready. Ugh. Two, uh, uh, three. Ugh. Best goalie ever. No matter what tricks Walter pulls, we can't lose. There you go, Walter. Five dozen super fat sausages, double cooked in fat. Thanks, Mr. Butcher. They look. Perfect. Uh, you've got enough there to feed a football team. Or at least a goalie. Nasha! Oi! Who did that? <laughs> We're supposed to stop it! <laughs> That's right! Eat up, Nasha! <laughs> Almost caught, 
by slipper, eh, Nasha? <laughs> I guess you're just getting old. <laughs> Don't worry, boy. I'll always love you, whatever happens. <laughs> uh. Hi, Nasha. Ready for fun? Something's not right here. Still a few more days to the match, and by that time, Nasha will be the size of a rhino! <laughs> First facts, then. He's definitely slowed down. And it's not long to our match with Walter. Curly, we could beat Walter and his mates with our feet tied together. Yeah, but like you said, he might have something sneaky up his sleeve. Don't worry. Nasha's still got it, haven't you, boy? <laughs> Oh. Come on, old pal. Do your stuff. <laughs> oh, Den, this is bad. Hey, Walter, ready to give up yet? Give up? <laughs> I don't think so. Mind if I have a go? Golly, is that a girl? <laughs> Pyphis, you're right. This is bad. What is it, boy? Are you feeling ill? <laughs> hey, get off, Soppy. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> Sorry, Nasha, it's not your fault. Everyone knows you're a sucker for sausages. You go ahead. You could do with some fresh air. I'll uh, <clears throat> catch up with you. I thought. One hundred and four percent fat. Bon appetit, Nasha. <laughs> no, Nasha, you can't. Be strong. <laughs> That's my boy. Now let's concentrate on getting you fit again. Sneaky. Poor old Nasha couldn't resist. But he's given them up and we've done some intensive training. <laughs> so, he's back on form now. Hang on. That's a new kid, David Peckham. I told you Walter would do something sneaky. Ah, oh, Dennis, you've met our new striker, David Peckham. And how's your star goalkeeper? Fine, thanks. In fact, he's as fit as a butcher's sausage. Oh, uh, I mean dog. Oh, yes. Uh, of course. Well, why wouldn't he be? Huh. Still, I bet he's not fit enough for this. Uh. <laughs> Is that all your striker's got? You did it! <laughs> nice try, Walter, but nobody messes with our goalie. What? You knew? Of course I did. Nasha's my best friend. <laughs> 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 Now we go live to Beano Town Park Racecourse.
the afternoon's racing. Hussy! Hussy! There! Yes, Bee, it's a horsey! <laughs> Why don't you go and play in the garden with your hobby horse? Dennis will help you. Dennis! Yeah. Hersley? And here's Dennis. One shot away from glory. What do you think of that, B? <laughs> and don't bring her back until you've made it up to her and she's calmed down. <laughs> Come on, B. I'm doing my best. Loves. Hello, Gran. What's all that crying about then? I could hear you a mile away. I broke Bee's hobby horse and I'm trying to find her a new one. Oh, well, that's all right then, isn't it? Oh, what's all that fuss about it? Poor little Bee. <laughs> oh, she is in a mood. <laughs> That's because nobody's got any hobby horses. We've been walking round the shops for hours. And Dad says I can't bring her back until she's calmed down. Dear me, you are in a pickle. What are you going to do? I don't know. Ah! Huh? Hang on. B, I've been thinking. Riding hobby horses is really for little babies. Baby? Yes. And you're a big girl, aren't you? How would you like to ride on a real horse instead? Real horses? Gran, can you look after B? I've got a plan. Any minute now, love. Dennis is just bringing him. Why do we have to do this? Cos we're mates, Curly. And mates help each other out, right? <laughs> now, remember, you've got to convince her you're a real horse. So no talking or mucking about, OK? OK. <gasps> Hussie! Hussie! That's right. Told you I'd get you one. Nay! B! No! Joy! <laughs> and what you doing letting that child pull up all this grass, eh? And who said you could bring that animal in here? Come on, Parky! Anyone can see it's not a real one. All of you, out of the park! <coughs> oh, this is a stupid idea, Dennis. What's in it for us, anyway? Come on, Curly. We're making Bee happy. What could be better than that? How about a pie? OK, let's just give her a ride and you can have any pie you want. OK? Now wait here while I go and get her. OK. Angle of inclination, seven degrees. Wind speed, about three knots south-southwesterly. Very good, Father. Stand aside, please. Uh, uh. Oh, Father, you must take more care. We're horsey. <gasps> Father! Horse 
with him, has he? OK, I'll, uh, I'll keep a sharp lookout. Oi! <laughs> right! before we get into any more trouble. Well, see! <laughs> Hang on a minute, love. I'll just go and see. <laughs> oh, never mind, Dennis. You did your best. But what am I going to do about B? I still can't take her home. <gasps> B! Horses and riders allowed through this entrance. But me little sister's in there. You've got to let me through. You think I'm stupid or something? Now either show me your horse or I'm going to have a word with that policeman. OK, Gran. Let's get the horse. So, here they are, under starter's orders for the final race of the day, the Beano Town Classic. And they're off with the favourite moving straight to the front, written by... Oh, 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 there seemed to be a change of ride at times. Heavens! I know Chockies are small, but that one's absolutely tiny. Ooh, can't be much bigger than B. <laughs> Wait a minute! That is B! And that's Dennis! Hang on, B! We're coming! Wheelie Grand! Yee-haw! Now, there's something very strange going on here because I don't recognise that horse at all. And now there's a police car. What an extraordinary race this is! Faster Grand! And now there's a dog on the track. Yes, <laughs> And as they approach the final fence, they're neck and neck. It's anybody's race. Come here, B! <laughs> Faster, Grand! Side. At least B was happy, even if we did have to sell the car to pay for the damage. I don't know. I don't miss it that much. And think of the money we're saving by not having one. You all right in there, Dennis? Yes. And you, Gran? Yes. Jolly good. Off we go, then. Giddy up! 